Tiffany Trump has chosen to stay out of the limelight for the most part. Some even call her the forgotten Trump, but Tiffany lives a charmed life full of luxe parties and events, as well as living in stunning residence that most would only dream of, which is something she certainly has in common with the rest of the Trump kids. From her childhood mansion to her starter penthouse in New York City and even the five-star hotel she's living in while searching for a home in Florida, Tiffany calls only the nicest place. Is home. Also, Michael and I dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses. And even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Tiffany Trump is a legal research assistant at Georgetown Law, but better known for being the fourth child of former US President Donald Trump. Also the only child he had with his second wife, Marla Maples. Despite not being in the public eye as much as her older siblings, Tiffany lives a lavish lifestyle as you might expect. And she's even known on Instagram for her posts with herself with her group of posh friends. In the past, her squad had been dubbed the rich kids of Instagram as they're all descendants of wealthy or famous parents or both. Once you see how Tiffany's living, including her home since she was born, you'll see the nickname is quite fitting. While Tiffany was in Greece with actress Lindsay Lohan a few years back, she met who would become her now fiance, Lebanese American billionaire heir, Michael Boulos. Not to mention, the couple is currently searching for a more permanent love nest in Florida, where the rest of the Trumps have also relocated. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at the homes of Tiffany. Trump. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Well, let's get a bit of a background of where Tiffany grew up first. Her mother, Marla Maples, was Donald Trump's second wife, and Tiffany is the only child the former couple had together. Tiffany was born in 1993 in West Palm Beach, Florida. Close to the hospital where Tiffany was born is of course her father's grand Mar-a-Lago mansion estate where she would spend a good chunk of her childhood years and would still continue to visit to this day. Donald purchased the palace built in a Spanish Moorish style back in the mid 80s and spent further millions to renovate the interiors exactly to his opulent tastes. The 118 room historic mega mansion was built back in the 1920s and boasted rooms like the living room was fully decked out in gold. The year after Tiffany was born, her father turned the estate into a private members only club as well for the rich and famous in Palm Beach, meaning that she and her mother Marla also got to reap the rewards of living on site at this luxury location. Not only did the massive home spend over 62,000 square feet, the family had access to many lux amenities you'd be lucky to find in a five star resort. Tiffany spent a lot of time here with her parents at the beachfront estate, enjoying things like a massive playground, swimming pools, sports courts, and even mini golf for the lucky child. For her fifth birthday, Tiffany had a nautical theme party in the ballroom at Mar-a-Lago where she dressed as a mermaid and was spoiled with a titanic cake, tons of presents, and games for her and her friends. Unfortunately, Tiffany's parents would soon divorce in 1999 and while she lived with her mom, Marla, she still saw Donald often and visited Mar-a-Lago with her siblings. Over the years, Tiffany still visits the properties, especially on the holidays. She goes for the annual Easter egg hunt which takes place at Mar-a-Lago and has been photographed with her Trump family at these events. Aside from Mar-a-Lago, Tiffany also got to spend time at a few of her father's other luxury estates. These included the infamous Trump Tower in Manhattan and the Seven Springs Estates. When Tiffany was a toddler, she also spent much of her time living with her parents in the pretentious Trump Tower penthouse on Fifth Avenue in New York City. This flashy triplex spanned over 10,000 square feet and was of course opulent just like her father's other properties. A young Tiffany often joined her parents at VIP events, surrounded by celebs and posing for photos, making her a Manhattan socialite since she was merely a baby. Tiffany's mother Marla had signed a serious prenup with Donald when they got married, so when they divorced, she really wasn't entitled to much. Marla got about $1 million and an additional million to buy a home, along with hundred k in child support for Tiffany that would stop when she turned 21. Either way, Marla was able to purchase a home in Calabasas, California 
California, where she took Tiffany and relocated. Tiffany spent the remainder of her young years growing up in this Spanish style abode in Los Angeles, which cost Marlo $1.3 million in 19. The home offered five beds and six baths throughout and was located in the gated enclave of Mountain View Estates. While the home's photos now look a bit dated in its design style, at the time it was up to date and had all you could need. Tiffany also attended the 30k per year school nearby, Viewpoint Point School, and it was a quiet life for she and her mom at this time. As you can see, their home had a chef-style kitchen with updated appliances, a gas stove, and a large center island while flowed into a casual dining area as well as out to the backyard. What looked to be Tiffany's one-time bedroom at the Calabasas home had a monochrome color scheme with canopy bed and banquet window seating. Other features of the home included the rotunda-style entry hall, and outside a basketball court as well as a custom pool with water slide and spa. It was definitely a nice home for Tiffany to grow up in, but at this point in her life, she wasn't as spoiled as before. In fact, it's reported she didn't even receive an allowance from her dad until she was 15, and it was said that her elder half-sister Ivanka was the one who talked Donald into it. In 2011, Tiffany was deciding what she wanted to do for her career, dabbling in fashion and even music, releasing her own single that was reportedly a flop. She was focused on her studies though, and Tiffany graduated Viewpoint with amazing marks, heading to the University of Pennsylvania like her father had. Tiffany then moved into the Swiss dorm building called the Radian, across from the college's campus in West Philadelphia. As you can see from photos, this wasn't your average student living quarters. The rating was stacked with top of the line student apartments and lux amenities, which included a full private gym, a club room, and a stylish cafe. Tiffany's dorm would have cost $2,100 or more per month, but despite this, Tiffany had been limited in terms of her allowance from her father, receiving only $500 per month. For this reason, the billionaire's daughter is said to be frugal with her money, even when she was splitting bills with her college college friends. Since Tiffany moved here for school, her mother Marla also had relocated to New York City and sold the Calabasas home in 2013 for $2.2 million. Around the same time, Tiffany was also gifted or being allowed to live in a stunning unit in the Trump Plaza co-op building, which boasted 36 residents and was located on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Records show Tiffany is listed as having an apartment here and while details are somewhat slim, you can see what the layout of her apartment would have looked like. This building was considered one of New York City's most exclusive addresses with amenities like a concierge, fitness center, private garden, and much more. Well, it also boasts a beautiful front entrance and lobby with a two-story waterfall. The units here offered large open plan rooms as well as amazing views of the city via floor to ceiling windows. Tiffany's apartment here was furnished to the nines and offered parquet flooring, a galley kitchen with high-end appliances and marble countertops, while there were cozy sitting rooms too. Her master bedroom also had amazing views of the city, while well, the minimalistic ensuite bath offered gold doorknobs to remind you that it's still a Trump property. While Tiffany was in the Big Apple, she found her squad of rich and famous party friends, often other millennial socialites, with important parents. While photos of Tiffany's particular Trump Plaza apartment were rare, she had posted the odd photo on social media, like this one from 2019, where she stood in her living room with artist Mr. Blink Columbia, who created the portrait behind her. Tiffany also had been caught posing on her apartment's wraparound balcony in this shot in 2016, leaning over the gold top rail with amazing views in the background. In 2017, Tiffany went on to move into a fancy apartment in Washington, D.C., starting to study at Georgetown Law in the same month. A smidge nicer than her former dorm, she set her sights on the I Street apartment complex in Mount Vernon Triangle, which had a ton of amenities like a cool lounge for residents. Other highlights included a stylish rooftop pool and barbecue area, a modern fitness center with even Peloton bikes, a study room, and a gourmet restaurant on site. Apartments here were spacious with large and open living spaces as well as updated kitchens with top of the line stainless appliances. Tiffany seemingly shared only one photo while living here, sitting on a pink sofa in her living room with a clear side table by her side. 
Most recently, Tiffany is said to be house hunting in Florida with her fiance, Michael, who proposed in 2020. While the rest of her Trump family, including her father, Donald, have moved near Palm Beach, or in his case, Mar-a-Lago, Tiffany seems to be focused on Miami. By the time Tiffany's fiance proposed, they'd already moved to Florida, staying at the lavish Satai Hotel in Miami Beach, looking for a more permanent residence. The Setai is a gorgeous place for Tiffany and her man to be staying in any case, as it's popular with A-listers and stacked with the best amenities. There's a zen infinity pool and sunken outdoor dining area to enjoy along with two top of the line restaurants, an upscale spa, two more infinity pools, and that's just a taste of what's there. Staying here comes with a price though, with rooms starting at $500 a night and the penthouse costing $30k per night. Tiffany is said to have chosen a suite for her stay with two bedrooms that can cost about 5 k per night or more. One like this offers an open concept kitchen and living room, spacious balcony, and luxury master suites, some with stunning four-poster beds and amazing views of Miami. With Tiffany still looking for a house in Miami, the Trump family's Florida roots are just growing deeper. Not only have Donald and his wife Melania moved back to Mar-a-Lago, Ivanka and her husband bought a fixer-upper in Miami, and Donald's eldest sons, Donald Jr. and Eric, bought mansions in the Jupiter area with their families. Even Tiffany's mother Marla has reportedly moved here. I guess only time will tell where Tiffany Trump settles in Florida, but I'm sure it'll be nothing short of stunning like her starter properties. Well, that's going to conclude this house tour. Be sure to let me know what you thought of Tiffany's homes down in the comments as well as who we should feature next. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!